Hi. Thank you so much for being here. I wanted to see if you were busy. Because I wanted to take a trip. And I was wondering if you wanted to join me. I've been thinking about how chaotic life can be sometimes for each and every one of us. And I think that it's really important to get away for just a little while. Go somewhere that doesn't have any negativity. A place where there are no distractions, a place of comfort, a place of calm, a place of happiness. For me, one of my favorite places of happiness would have to be the road. Not the busy road. I think we should get away from all that highway. Get away from all the traffic and the rush. I think we should go to a quieter road where you don't see the highway. You see openness. Or maybe you see scenery and trees. You don't see busyness. You see quiet peacefulness. You see the beautiful world just as it should be. What do you enjoy being surrounded by when you're driving? I've always loved driving. I love road trips. There's just something about being on the open road that is so freeing, you know? So magical. Just you and that open road. I took a trip like that once, actually. I live in Texas, as you might know, around the greater Houston area, and one day I decided to take a trip to West Texas, about 10 hours away from where I lived, and I went to this national park right around the border of Texas and Mexico. I had wanted to go there since I was a teenager, and I was flipping through this old Texas travel guide that belonged to my dad. And as soon as I flipped the page and saw the brilliant pictures, I thought to myself that I had to go there one day. And so, I did. I went for three days, and it was just amazing. It was the perfect combination of mountain, river, and desert. It was unbelievable. I had no idea that Texas could even be that magical. I am. Um, I live in the plains of Texas. If you've ever been to Houston, you know what I'm talking about. That the only hills are the highways. <laughs> and so, being in such a place with mountains and hills, it was really refreshing definitely a place of happiness for me. After that, I went to New Mexico, and then I went to Arizona, where I saw the Grand Canyon for the first time. And then I went to California, where for the first time I saw San Diego, Los Angeles, and most importantly, 
I saw the Pacific Ocean. That was probably, no, that was definitely the first time I've seen blue water in an ocean instead of um, grayish brown, as I tend to see in the Texas beaches. It was really unreal. It was really unreal. Um, but yeah, the Pacific Ocean. It's definitely the best ocean out of the two that I have seen thus far. Speaking of the ocean, the beach is another place of happiness for me. I love everything about it. From feeling the sand between my toes to basking in the golden sun feeling that comforting warmth all over my body, hearing the seagulls as they fly above me, and hearing the sound of the waves rise and fall. I love watching the water, so fascinating and a little bit mysterious and definitely relaxing. I have found that in nature there are many places of happiness for me. Many places. I love lakes. I adore mountains. There's nothing like getting exercise hiking while seeing the beauty of this world. What is your place of happiness? Is it the open road? Is it the beach? Is it in the mountains? Or maybe a canyon in the desert where you can enjoy the solitude and silence. Maybe your place of happiness is in a coffee shop reading your favorite book. Sometimes, when you have obstacles in your life that you don't yet know how to overcome, or when there's stress that is so overwhelming you feel like you can't take another minute, or maybe you're experiencing a little bit of discomfort or a lot of pain in your life just need a place to escape, not forever, but for a little while. Find that place of happiness. Relax. Find peace within yourself and the strength to keep going on. And just for a little while, bask in that unconditional happiness before you go back to the real world. Wherever and whatever that place of happiness is for you, don't let anyone take it away from you. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Thank you so much for joining me and getting to know me a little better as I shared with you a few of my favorite places of happiness. Have a wonderful day restful, peaceful day or night, and I hope that you'll join me again sometime soon.